1207 developing now almost three years after a New Orleans nurse was shot and killed on Bourbon Street. The man who struggled with the gun that went off and hit her was found guilty of one charge but acquitted on two others. WDSU's Travers Michael was in court today. He joins us with details and reaction. Travers. The decision came down, Christina, about 9 o'clock this morning. This was a judge trial, not a jury trial. And Judge Nandy Campbell found that Lewis Barnes was guilty of negligent homicide back in 2019 when Julie Cuvion was shot and killed on Bourbon Street. Now, this is a complex case. Let's walk you through everything. Back in February of 19, Julie Cuvion, a single mother and local nurse, was walking down Bourbon Street with friends just having a good time. Lewis Barnes was in Willie's Chicken Shack on Bourbon Street. He got into an altercation with the security guard and was asked to leave. Him and the security guard got into a physical altercation. They both went for the gun, according to what came out in court, and the gun went off. The bullet struck Julie Cuvion in the head, killing her. This was initially a murder charge. It was reduced to manslaughter, then negligent homicide. This was a judge trial that's very unusual, meaning a jury of Barnes's peers did not decide this. It was solely decided by the judge in this case, Nandy Campbell. She found him guilty of negligent homicide, not guilty on attempted murder and being a felon in possession of a firearm. We caught up with relatives of Lewis Barnes and his attorney immediately afterwards. Here's what they had to say. Well, you know, first I would like to say it was a very tragic situation and, um, you know, it's uh, very unfortunate that Ms. Kuvion lost her life in this incident, um, but Mr. Barnes was not the person who fired the gun that killed her. We've said that from the very beginning, and um, we do believe that this is one of the best outcomes that he could have had, and we're happy with the judge's ruling. It is a, a touchy situation. Um, of course, I'm his cousin. I wanted him to get not guilty on all three, but uh, based on the situation, you know, things had to happen how they happened. And the outcome, in my opinion, is, is still a pretty good outcome considering what went on. And I, I still want to give my condolences to uh, the Coulion family as well. So once again, Lewis Barnes was taken back into custody inside this courthouse, but he has been behind bars for almost three years. And once again, this sentence, negligent homicide, not considered a crime of violence under Louisiana law. Also, the sentencing guidelines for the judge, zero to five years, meaning if she maxes him out, he'll only be behind bars for two more years. But with probation and parole, he could be out a lot sooner than that. We'll have much more coming up at 4, 5, and 6. For now, reporting at the courthouse, I'm Travers Mackle, WDSU News.